Alrighty. Looks like uh, with that we finally got a decent transition over. Yeah, finally. <laughs> uh, we're working on things, we're, practicing. We're, we're, we're one day at a time, people. Uh, and currently uh, what we're working on is uh, keeping it week to week. We got an upload last week with uh, the Kyle, interview. Yeah, yeah, Kyle Smith. And we do apologize for a little bit of some cut-off scenes. I, I don't know if you noticed that. Yeah, they yeah. were cut a little bit on some of those. But, you know, at least we got, got it out. <laughs> yes, it went through at least for once, thank goodness. Because the, the, the files were not looking good. <sighs> There's not a lot going on this month, Izzy. There's not a lot going on, guys. Like, if you guys know of stuff going on, please tell us, because we did just not shit going on. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's more stuff that seems like I in the like comic world going on games, than games. in the games right now yeah. than there is with movies. I know Red Dead. I know a couple things. So, Monster Hunter World. What are they doing now? They just came to PC. Oh, they finally came to PC. Yes, I know because someone on my screen uh, crew bought it and is playing the crap out of it. It's, not getting any footage game. as usual. It's oh yeah, it was a great game. It's just, just several, several months later now to the point that you, you waited so long after the yeah, console release. It was I, uh, similar to The combat with style is very, very d different and like they it's have their too. like styles of like beginner to like hard style right, weapons right. and like you have to like time everything just right as if not then he can't do like the awesome finishing. Yeah, the, fit, the actual doing. combos. And so... We've got that. We had Red Dead Redemption Two, which I was thinking about getting because I had a lot of people were hating on it. I seen, but I was like, my thing was... is like it's it's exactly what kind of they promised, which was another Red Dead Redemption. They weren't promising anything like groundbreaking or substantially different. They were like, all right, you like Red Dead Redemption? We're gonna oh, give you another. Leo, one. Up. Hey, what's up, Leo? Thanks for joining us as always. Uh, man, it's. But it is. It's such a rough yeah, it month. It's good though. I like love the. Oh yeah. Like that you can have your own gang, mm -hmm. and it's not like really focused on like the like uh, outlaw just by himself, the lone wolf. It's more of like you know you have this community of that you work together with. To right, because that's done. really it is the old you know the and old west. Yeah, and it's the very end times of the wild west, basically. Right, where it's the saying. death of the old west, which is an interesting time. I think it's what really does it is like the. Authority spreads throughout the West is what happens. Is they just finally get like. So they he, they just uh, Leo said they just released DBZ on Switch. Really, I have not tried it. I've not known that. See the reason. I See, was... that's what I'm saying. This is such a bug. Uh, and who else? Uh, Fortnite just came to Android only to but certain they did, Galaxy but, but It's funny how they did it. They yeah, had they, ignored yeah. Google Play Store and they said no, we'll just do it on their own. And you guys can still get it, though. From yeah, there. but the Which thing is being cool. is you can't get it, though, either, because you have to be on that certain Android. They oh, have it really? On a, yeah, they have it on, like, an exclusive open beta kind of thing on Android. Okay, okay. Uh, that I want to double check. I think Leo might be able to yeah, back me up on that. Because I know that, that they were trying to ignore some fees from It was Google a beta. Play. Try out DBZ on Switch. Oh, but it's coming out in a few weeks. Okay, that's what uh, he was but saying. I find it so dumb. Like they're Switch. like one of the most richest games right now. Like they're they're in the billions of I think right now net worth, and they're really complaining about you know some fees from Google Play Store. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Like, come on, guys, stop being greedy and just put on Google Play Store so that everyone can play. <laughs> exactly. Cause literally, like that, I understand. Like they want to do this and this, but it's a free game. Like yeah, you're that's making thing. and phones are one of the biggest users of free to play and to pay games making even money. If, even they make if, way more money on free to play on yeah. phone than they do on Xbox and thing. I mm -hmm. guarantee you, because that's just the that's what they're designed for, basically. Those and games even are if they that. did, you know. Um, put on Android and they you know went, went with Google Play Store they would still make their money back because of all the users they were going to now get from Android I don't know find it a little ridiculous it, it's oh well, like I said it's a the huge opening it. that they didn't want to take and I can't figure out why they wouldn't take that you know what that's I mean that's what they want to do I guess huh it is. They've they've said it. I mean, you know what I mean. They've made it apparently clear that that's what they're gonna Why? do. Why? Oh, there's take that. that. Oh no, no, no. They want to do, I guess. Huh? Uh, there we go. It is. They've they've said <laughs> it. I mean, you know what I mean. They've made it. There we go. Okay. So from here, I can actually <laughs> share and shit. Now I can see what's going on from here. I can see. Um, uh, but uh, I mean, so that we got the Fortnite. Were you so how excited were you for Red Dead Redemption on a scale? Of, like, uh, I'm not like super, but I didn't get to do too much of the regular Red Dead oh, Redemption. You didn't. I got to play a good amount, but not a bunch. Oh my god! 
guys. Be- and by the time I was on, nobody was playing anymore, so it was really rough to do anything with a game. I remember when the first came like, out and I played that game, I was like, really took me like, a, I felt like I was really in the wild, wild Exactly, that and that makes you feel like that, and it's, especially when you right, do the, the multiplayer stuff. Yeah, them, yeah. With, uh, it just, everything in the story was so good. That was really what I heard was the greatest part that I kind of missed out on, because I kind of caught the t- tail end of it, like I said, where I was playing it for its in-world stuff, but and not that's not even technically the first one. No, yes. it's not there's actually. Another there's another Red Dead. It's, it's just Red, Red Dead. Dead right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and that one is f- not even open world or anything. No, there. not it's at all. Just... It's very closed. Uh, you it and it actually relatively like I don't think the story is because I think the original Red Dead had a lot to do with like zombies or some craziness. Maybe that's why they Maybe did not. the Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, did like that. I don't know. One. It's definitely one of those hmm. things. I'd have to ask some other people. Uh, what else is coming out as far as games do we know? Um, um it's, it's rough to tell. I mean, see. that's so like I said, that. We, I mean, we got Spider Man to look forward to next next month, huh? That's true, but that's the thing. This month, really, not much. We talked about it. I seen Winnie the Pooh. It was, oh, was that? It was enjoyable. I really loved like all the little tidbits of like how from the original series oh, and how okay, they brought yeah. it into the movie see and I think and people really love that like and people don't understand that it's like they got some bad Shell reviews Guys. but like I think it was from the critic side and I think the audience loved it though the thing is the critics want them, the, them to do something break out and crazy and, th- and the audience realistically I doesn't didn't want that we no. just wanted the no. live action that's exactly I just want to see Pooh running around live action like a little like Ted you know like Ted did that's all I want and it was good. I liked it. There was just like even like he would say his things like, "I'm gonna get a smackerel or like a you know, smackerel of honey." Yeah, he'd say things like that. And yeah, just I like, love oh, this. you know, it does just gets you. Winnie the Pooh is so good. Like that's that's I love the Pooh. That's but, so good. I mean, it was good. It was a good movie. I enjoyed that's, it. That's I, the other one we got. The, the the only thing we really know that's coming out that's good in August is probably gonna be the Happy Time Murders. That too. That looks good with Melissa McCarthy. Um, yeah. I just don't know what else is coming out that I there. am looking forward to in um, August. I wanted to see Slender Man just to say I've seen it. I want to see, but I'm not like excited. I mean, I have that AMC pass, so to me, I'm not really wasting any money. No, I mean you can go. That's whatever. why I love that thing because. Oh yeah, like, the pass is great. You not can go a waste see of money want. for me. Actually, someone wanted to go to see a movie Tuesday. I should probably. In the that or the Meg, I wanted to see the Meg. Just say fuck it. I don't, I my like, parents went and watched that. I was like, I didn't. Get just to the hear. same. Yeah, like I, I'll just, see anything. It's enjoyable. Him. It'll be enjoyable. I guarantee it. And the way he says Megalodon. <laughs> the, the Megalodon. You mean Megalodon? Meg- Meg- Megalodon. <laughs> Megalodon. <laughs> No, Somebody was great. making fun of him. The way he says it, that's fine. I like, I love it when they, the accents work. There's a reason it works. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. The, the, so that I'm one's the driver. <laughs> Those are good. I love the transporters. Those are always Those my are good. from him. Oh yeah. Um, he's got a couple crap. What's the other one? The one that he's crash or whatever. Or... Oh, I can't believe I watched that. That's you mean crank? Crank. That's oh, the one. Oh my god. So crazy and silly. Number two was. To the worst one out I of can't all believe of them. they even made I a number two. I can't believe two. they really. No, well, they had to do two because like they did. They left us on such the bullshit. I know, but still, it was first. just like I couldn't believe it got a two. And I just can't believe they did that scene with the horse. Uh, oh yeah, horse track. You know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about, right? Yeah, I know the one. She's gonna crank him up. I was like, yeah, that's. Mm, no. That's a no-go for that's me a on no this no. movie. <laughs> that's funny. I can't even believe Jason's agreed to this. Yeah, like, how did he even let you guys say it's like, you paid it for it in the <laughs> check. <laughs> it's like, I'm a driver. I'm a driver. And I'm crank. And I'm crank. <laughs> it's great, though. It really is. Um, uh, really, the comics have been doing a lot more work, I feel like, oh, the movies. Oh, yeah. These I'm loving the comics right now. Marvel is just like... I think they're back on track, really. I feel. Like I feel like are. since the since the whole debacle of Secret Empire and everything, and then even after that, like there was some times where people were just not happy with what they imagined to be this wave of like new characters and. Stuff it was the and... social justice thing though, because they were so much complaining. And but look who's it. doing the same thing now. Exactly, they DC's want... doing the same. Well, exact that, thing even now even, with the even new on the other side, sideways and the the age of new super. Oh yeah, they've been doing, doing that. that. They've been, and the thing is, all of those characters are just as bad like there are no like rampage is okay that's Grimstone's the new character all right. somebody was telling me about he's yeah like he's the like the hulk. hulk yeah he's a hulk he except can... for he's nowhere near as impressive he never shows anything that looks like he's nearly impressive as hulk 
he's limited to an hour in his yeah, form. That's what they were saying, which is like, alright, that's the dumbest thing ever. Like I think the whole thing is that it? that was from the aftermath of the Dark Knight metal or he, I mean they really Sideways they don't really the lead Knight out metal. of them even. Oh, really? mm, no. That's weird. They're, some of them are slightly connected, but like Brimstone totally you just need came out of nowhere. Yep, nowhere. Just like, hey, some kid made a deal you know, with the devil. I love that Marvel does that. You know, like they at least kind of like tie in. They yeah. tie in something. And oh, it's okay to character. not have everything tied in, but it's also not okay to be the other way and not have anything tied in. Like they like said, you did this whole new Dark Knights thing. And you couldn't pull one single new character. Like I think they're doing one character, the the, the Joker. Joker. Or yeah, the, one like the that Batman who though. laughs, and then his. He's got Joker his own series, right, for right now? He's going to get it, yeah. And then they're going to do the white. Which is basically the same thing as Cosmic Ghost Rider. And if anything, I claim Cosmic Ghost Rider at least had a better starting series. Because honestly, my opinion, Dark Knight's Metal was meh was at best. Good. It just wasn't cool. Who was writing? I don't remember. It was a couple of writers or just a one, different, one guy that was... I'm, I know the art changed at one point really heavy. Now. I hate That's when that. they do that. You can't do that Like, on the so van. bad. Like, this, someone did a comparison of, like, the the styles and the Wonder Woman from and, one to another. But you were telling like me, though... Man. Oh, no, that was the other one, Doomsday Clock. That's taking so long Oh, to that one. And, and, even, and, then, and then I saw someone post it. Right, they're like, number six proves Doomsday Clock was worth the wait. And it was also barely passable. Hey, what's up, Josh? Good to see you. Thanks for joining. We're talking about comic books, movies, and things coming yeah. out in the future. And currently, we've been talking about the comic books and... Uh, what's going on? Yeah. I mean, you're more with the DC. You've been I've been doing more. most... I can't wait. I, I read all service. of No Surrender on the, on the Avengers side, and I read... I liked it. I read No Justice, also funny. No Justice, No Surrender. Just saying, people are always looking for those cops. If you go for it, I honestly think, at least today, nowadays, DC cops a lot more. Back in the day, yes, for Marvel. The other thing, though, is DC does a bad job copying. They copy badly. They yeah. don't, like, Marvel takes something, like, that's cool. I want to improve on that. Let's make it this way. Like, do I mean, this. Deadpool, at first, was a character that was me at first. And then, yeah. he grew after, into some, a yeah, after some writers, I think Gary Dugan was the one that yeah, actually made really him take off. off. Yeah. And even, like, you just think about characters, like, all right, let's say, like I said, there's a million. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is Doctor Fate, except for he's more interesting. Yeah. So, we, you know, he got, got a better series running. You don't he hear too much about Doctor Fate and DC. No, well, he's, that. he's also really strong, which is why they know him. But it's one of those things where his character is written to be so null and neutral that he's really boring. He's bland and uninteresting. And Doctor Strange, as opposed to being the defender of the natural world not only lets him fight evil and do all this other random stuff and intercede wherever he see fit, sees fit, he also ends up fighting the heroes sometimes because of that. He ends up dealing with, you know what I mean, moral decisions, like, stuff. Mm -hmm. like it's, and, and not, in a way, like, detached from humanity, because that's always how Dr. Faith was, if you go to his... Or, he's, he's such this emotionless, cold void of a character that's really boring, honestly. Such boring. <laughs> I, and, and I, like I said, well, he's still an interesting character. So what's your favorite Marvel book that's been kind of coming out so far now then? <coughs> actually, if I had it, I can actually tell you which one's my favorite from my gallery by seeing which ones I've saved for screenshots. Um, uh, one that it might not be my favorite favorite, but I guarantee you it's one of my favorite right now is the, the Quicksilver No Surrender run. I uh, picked up issue three. I know four just came out this month, but uh, uh, honestly, I mean those two, those three and up. four, and that's the thing being is like they're individual as a run. They might not be good, but they just individually have these great things. Where you know, like he has like so this. They're trying to make him be. Uh, to me, they're really trying to make him like Flash kind of. Cause Flash I feel like has... they're making his powers Flash, but I feel like a lot of his character. I think he's making character development right now, which is much more important than even power do, development. Because honestly, right, he's been he stuck does. since 1960. When he's the same bullshit. Yeah, he's this arrogant, petulant, and he talks about it in this thing. Talking about this kind of evolution is like I start as this arrogant, petulant so, child. Yeah, I'm hey, what up, TJ? Hey, Jude. Thank you for joining. I'm curious so they'll take him. I don't know. I think they're definitely giving him much more of a kind of like open thing because he's such a the uh, the world is against me in this. But it's just got really deep writing stuff in there. So like, uh, what's I know there's this one line that I'm stealing from it where he's like, one day I I got beaten up on the way from school by two boys because I was protecting an animal that they were trying to to torture, and I thought that I would I was embarrassed when I went home. I didn't want to tell my father. I thought he would be ashamed of me. But instead, my father was, he looked at me, he smiled, and he said, you are a good person, Pietro, but it is hard to be a good person in this world. It will hurt you 
and like it's just this whole thing you know what I mean and it's very true it's mm-hmm. very you know what I mean it's very like and he, like even the thing he's talking about once which I thought was funny is like cause he's living in those moments in between time and his current series it's like the flash stuck out of time where everything is a million billion years to one second or whatever, you know, however long. Mm-hmm. And his whole thing is like, one per time, he's just like, you know, I probably could be out there stopping all the crime and the bad things that happened from second to second and trying to end it all, but I'm not. And the reason being because I've learned that you simply can't. There will always be another bad guy. There will always be more people trying to hurt more people. And like, it is very like, retrospective introspective comic as opposed to like smash this crash that you know mm-hmm. Nazi evildoers and aliens you know they're very easy to like demonize and persona like ah these guys are these aren't us they're and you know but at the same time you have to have these characters that are humanized and demonized and I don't know I think that's why right now it's one of my favorites I was I'm really loving Ant-Man and uh, I still the Wasp. get into it oh I've been off of it because the Mark Wade's has been doing his research on this. He goes into so much depth about the microverse and That's, like how like I, it just basically it just goes into so much. I can't even explain it because it just yeah, like, it's, goes, so it's over my head, you know. Like, uh, that, but it t- it's not over the, my head where I don't understand. It's just like okay, I understand what he's trying to say that this is why it's possible and this right, is what right. it can be like that. I understand, but like I understand like the the names and how this is like with the science behind it, what it can do. Um, but he does such a good job of just like adding into this book and how they have to come back from the microverse and um, you should really check it out I, I want to check it I like those pseudoscience because that's really what the the what is that the silver age or the bronze age is really all about is the scientific aspect of superheroes as opposed to the golden age which was just about superheroes, superheroes with no being, explanation yeah, yeah. Just being these entities and not be, needing explanations silver age being the this one's good too weapon uh, X are you liking Weapon X right now? It's been running really well. I thought after Saber they did too. the whole Weapon H thing, it would be kind of run off. But right now, it's just an interesting... Did you read his run yet? Saber Tooth's run? Weapon H yet. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, I've been reading his run and catching it. <laughs> it's also interesting. It's kind of predictable. I'm, I I'm like waiting him for a little a more breakout. He's an interesting he's, character. Yeah, because he, he's not really a Hulk when you think about it. Yeah, he doesn't... He doesn't... They talk about it. That's why it's so interesting reading those like comics. It, yeah, because yeah. he's... He, can, he can control what he's doing. And right, he, everything he does is has strategy, and which I love is, about that. which I also love because making a char- the character like that limits him in certain ways. So he'll never be as strong as the Hulk like that. You never get as physically powerful as the Hulk if you're not gonna get angrier. Having said that, maintaining an indestructible adamantium skeleton and uh, combat tactics and strategies well, and everyone else melted and was deteriorating yeah that a, well that one they they finally did explain that they said it's nanotech adamantium or something so the nano at bots likes cover his skeleton and grow when he grows what other ones were so really good doesn't break yeah I so yeah. he doesn't fall off of his own skeleton Darth Vader's run's always really good. The Thor run is pretty uh, cool. My, yeah, number one was so good. Did and you see number like, two yet? I've read. Yeah, I've been keeping up with. Oh them. yeah, they're but so yeah, good. But yeah, my yeah number one was my favorite just because him just having all those hammers being thrown to him. He's like, yeah, I need the, all the hammers. You broke all the hammers. <laughs> we spent weeks enchanting them all, and you broke them. <laughs> I broke them all. I'm <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I did. I'm did like, you smash this juggler? Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I like that though, yeah, because they're kind of not making him very strong. If you can kind of see, they're making him very weak this Thor. Right. Um, even though he is a god, and he should still be able to kind of. I mean, they're also giving him relatively high levels of enemies, though. That Juggernaut Who was. Who was he facing again in that one? Oh, it was Juggernaut. That's right, right, but it was Juggernaut powered up at the Temple of Sidorak. There we so go. He, they even say in that I'm the strongest Juggernaut that's ever Juggernauted. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. That's, Taste uh, hammer. That makes sense. Yeah. I love I mean, number two is great because then they end up in hell. Oh yeah, that's right, huh? And then yep. And then you get the whole well, and I love it because they start kind of going over the ridiculousness of his family. Huh? Yeah. Oh, didn't they also? And that's one of those inconsistencies. I'm wondering how they're gonna uh, make that work. Is that they just brought Thanos in at the like the very last one? Oh, oh, that's right. Because I bet you anything is going to tie to it on this series. It's got to tie Because there was something about death in there, wasn't there, or something? Well, it's more, it was weird. It's more like she's the goddess of death and he's 
her new con. I don't oh know. yeah, because yeah. he's gonna get married. Was yeah, well, she like... was gonna get married, and then he shows up. Oh, that's right. And oh, then they were, that's why they were happened. dating earlier. Remember when when Hela was deposed oh, and Ho- okay. Thor found the war Thor hammer? Well, I think now he's there because this is probably now the events of. Well, he's also Affinity. this might be after he died. Then. That's why I say after. So he that died, would so make sense. Yeah, in, in hell, yeah, that would make a lot more sense. Because for a minute there, I'm just like. How is this going on? Didn't he just get his head cut off? And that's what I'm thinking, yeah. That because that's when I read that issue too. I was like, oh shit, he must have came now from dying in that issue. That's interesting. Uh, that scene, that's that how would like be Marvel that. Does that? They do that really well a lot of the time. Sometimes they're not that great that's, about yeah. it. Yeah, so, that's why I do those. But uh, they do. Like I've seen, like there were a couple of the X Men issues where they're like, oh no, those X Men are off in space right now. We can't, we, we can't ask them for help. It's like, yes, wait, so they're like act- that they do that. Did you see? Have you been keeping up with uh, the Immortal Hulk? Oh my gosh, I love him. So good, the writing and people are complaining. It's like, oh well, he just shows up in a couple things. Like, I that's love, classic that's horror classic, writing. That's classic. Hulk. Classic. That's like, and it's that's how he was supposed to be in the beginning. He was just this monster. He He's was Jekyll and Hyde. It's literally what his character. Even, really. Yeah, it's it's a combo Jack, between. Yeah. Those two characters was literally the inspiration for his character. Yeah, when Jack Kirby even came up, if you look at the original Hulk, he has the characteristics of, of Frankenstein. Frankenstein, and his his duality is a hundred percent based off of Jekyll and Hyde. That's Dr. why I Jekyll love Alex Ross Ryan. doing the doing the covers because oh, he even explains so like I want to do the this, Jack Kirby kind of Hulk, yes. but also kind and of and he looks my own thing. so good in the style. Like even though it's somewhat of a simpler style. They do such a good job on the portrayals of his face, of like the gore. Or oh, the first issue when he like turns around and he's just looking at him and how yeah. like brutish and like how. Oh yeah, like he you can looks... just you can see how big he is. Yeah. And you're just like, oh shit. And he just looks so mean and angry. And in this one, he is like they've made him so cynical in these last couple chapters where it's like, because the the last three of them have been basically about like. No, well, they're two all was really good because I like that they went into like. How each and every person had their own perspective on the Hulk. Like, oh, one, he was like, oh, he was a really cool guy. He helped out. One was like, oh, no, he was bad. He did the bad guy. He destroyed the bar. Yeah. yeah. And, and it really was, like, all around, like, different stories and pictures. But I just also love, like I said, in this one, they're making him the monster again. Like, I like the Hulk, but he really is supposed to be this uncontrollable force. Like, in, for a while, they evolved him to a farther character, and I like that, too. He developed it, but, real, but you got to pick where you want characters and this character works as Banner being on one side and that's the other thing I like yeah, this Hulk's right not now, stupid yeah this Hulk has just evolved again he's different he's back to being he's back to being the monster back to being tired of being feared tired of everyone fucking with him tired of not being able to die tired you know well, what I, mean? I mean Banner can finish his own self off yeah so that's, that's yeah he, he, well they talk about it can't do anything like Banner Hulk brought himself back that's why it's called the immortal Hulk mm-hmm. because Hulk himself is immortal Banner is not no Banner but dies Hulk but the Hulk is immortal well and they make that point several times I actually have it as one of the facts for the weeks coming up uh, it is that fact that Banner can die but the Hulk will always no, come back no he'll always be able to come back that's yeah yep Said you can kill puny Banner, but puny then that it's one of those things where it's where does the line you know end? And I, usually the line ending of then they've had it in several parts where it's like, well, what can you do to really kill the Hulk? Well, yeah. apparently nothing at this nothing point because now. they now they just made it clear that this yes. motherfucker going to stay alive. Anything you do, they <laughs> yeah. Which and they've been before they've had it like they I remember during Seeker Wars they had that one where where it was just like the Hulk had like got his head cut off. And he was fine. He just Banner's head grew in its place or some shit. I think I do remember that. I had to read that whole. And series it's because again. like earlier on in the series, the Hulk was very much more like mutated and mutagenable, so he could lose limbs and his head and other things and still survive. Theoretically, that stuff could still exist, just in different capacities or even in the same capacity. <laughs> the movie's Incredible Hulk was supposed to be based off of like sea fit or starfish biology, which was basically infinitely regrowing as long as you had a single piece mm. that Hulk. was not my favorite uh, Hulk movie that nah, wasn't my favorite as far as story but man I, I love like the Edward depiction. Norton though I like Edward Norton I think Nor- he was I better Hulk than, I think he was a better Hulk than Mark Ruffalo I don't like him as Banner I do not like Mark Ruffalo as Hulk I can't I don't know I just don't see him as this nerdy oh that's Ruffalo's Banner though like 
like and I don't like his take on Banner like yeah, I yeah his I Banner's would, a little different yeah. he's a little smooth for Banner he's I too think smooth. he needs to be more angry more rough he's got a hard that's life one he came kind of from thing. and that's one of the things I didn't like about Norton either I thought Norton was too calm too relaxed too held back maybe I have to watch that again to see yeah maybe like, I think Second Hulk is the one I like better and is it that just depends Norton's, who's that one that's the, um, the, Norton's the second one the first oh, Hulk maybe is maybe the first Hulk I like better I can't remember like this. I'd love to see like the transformations so maybe we'll throw those on real quick and do some Hulk transformation comparisons just like Hulk transformations in all movies it's only like five minutes Why don't, should we throw it on take a look yeah all right let's we're gonna throw it up for you guys too so wait 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 why are they out of order? What are you talking just... about? You'll see! <laughs> they even got the... Uh, yeah, the loop ring. Second one, and I think this was another bad thing they did. They never show him transform into the Hulk. You know, he, he always transforms off into the side, but you don't see him transform into the Hulk. They just show the scene better too. I mean, if you look at it, they're close up on his face. This one, they're so focused on the CGI body shot. When realistically, you need the emotion. By this time, you're going to see him. cool. You're going to actually see him transform. Maybe that's why I don't forget. Because I've never seen him. It's always like, you know. I'm going to do it in the back scenes, though. <laughs> I don't like his haircut either. There we go. The haircut, the haircut really threw me off. And two, yeah. And he's too baby. I don't know. He was, all, he was rough in that one. Now, having said that, like, the animation would be pretty good. This one, they really like Yeah, he's really cool. He's like, big and all of a sudden. That's why I want my I do, but I, that's why I kind of like the newest one. And I like the one that we have in, in uh, the comic book better. He's thick, but not brown. I think that's the difference. That other one was too brown. And soft. The Hulk's not soft. Oh, um, he's we're gonna be okay. Right? Oh, here we go. Yeah, we haven't seen so let's yet. see Thorin's like. Get you out of this, you will walk away. And he. Never, ever, ever, ever. Yes! See, there he's got an, at least an angry face. Uh, he doesn't play good banner, but he does a good transformation. Because I agree, I don't think he's a very good banner. Like, I don't even get the sense of, like, hopeless rage that Ben, like, when he's just like, well, I tried to put a bullet in it. I'm like, eh, I guess you did. If you say so. 
Because he said that that face there he made was a very good in game. This Hulk has a good combination of round and buff, I feel like. He's round, but his muscles are defined. He's not too veiny. His face is also See, rougher, then, like, like his face, his chest, uh, his chest is like pulled in. Weird, yeah, well, they like, were doing like flexed things, but they weren't giving him the pecs. Oh. Yeah. So like here, he's got muscles and bulge, there's definition, but roundness, he's thick. This is almost the look I want. Still not quite like, except the one I like is still the, uh, Even then, like, he still was kind of funny in that. Yeah, it's just fun with me, but... Yeah, it's not the one I'm doing. This is, like, three of those ones. That's something they don't do enough in these. They did a little bit in two. Remember, you just... Yeah. Just, oh, what does that stuff? It is a little bit hot, sorry. Can we turn that fan on? Uh, I think we can, but it'll pull up on the... Uh, Never mind then. Uh, we don't have too terribly much... Oh, no. Our live video stopped. I think we died off. Oh, unfortunate. Hmm. That hasn't happened. It's not because we played that video, right? Uh, maybe it might have. We might have got too many scenes.